Hello YouTube and welcome to another Python tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can use virtual environment with Python. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last videos, I used virtual environment in Python but with an old method. But now there is a new way to use virtual environment in Python using a new recommended method with just using the utility called PPENV. So let's get started. So here I'm using Atom as my favorite editor. So I can use here or open a terminal. So you can also open any terminal you want. So here I am on my Mac OS. So the first thing you have to install pipenv in order to use the virtual environment in Python. Okay. So I'm using Python 3. So I will use pipe 3. Install. Then pipenv. And here we go. So it's collecting some pipenv requirement and now as you can see we have successfully installed pipenv okay so now that you have installed pipenv you can use virtual environment in python okay so first let me clear that so as you remember in the old method in order to use virtual environment in python you have to activate it using activate method but here we simply use the command pip env then shell okay in order to actually create a virtual environment in python so as you can see here it's creating a virtual environment in our project here and now it has finished so as you can read in my tenement successfully created a virtual environment and you here you can see the location of this virtual environment okay and also you will notice that the prompt has changed it so it's preceding with the name of the directory where my project file reside so here the directory is called hello so when you see actually the name of your directory project in front of your prompt you are sure that you have actually or you are inside your virtual environment for python and also one important thing to notice here that a new file called pip file has been created okay so now we can start working with our virtual environment so let me clear the terminal here so as you can see or as you know we use virtual environment in order to get an environment dedicated to your project with specific models on packages and versioning okay so let's say that we want to work with the a package so in order to work with the package you have to install it but this time we will use pip env in order to install a package and command as you may guess it's pretty easy pip env install then here you have to provide the package name that you want to work with so for example let's say that they want to work with a package called scapy so scapy is a very famous package for in python that you are working with the actually packets or networking stuff so let's install it and now the package is getting installed and also with the dependencies okay so as you can see now the package has been installed and if you notice another file has been created called 
pip file.log. So when you are actually creating an environment and installing packages related to your project, these two files actually has been created, pip file and pip file.log. So let's take a look at those files. So first of all, let's take a look at the pip file. So as you can see here, it's a just a simple file with some actually sections. So the first section is actually called source. It actually just a location from where the packages are getting downloaded. And also you will notice here a packages section with the package name for for example here the package that we actually uh, have installed called scapy and star here means any version of scapy because we didn't specify specific version with the package name so it's get download latest version okay and also requires so you can see here the python version that we are working with okay so it's simple text file you can actually add also packages directly manually to this file if you want but the preferred method it always used pip env install command in order to install your packages okay so this is pip file and let's take a look at pip file.log so as you can see, the pip file.log is more complex. It contains some hashes, okay? And we found also the sources uh, section with same URL, okay? And here you can see some specific details about the package that we actually already installed called Scapy with its hashes and here the version now you can see the exact version of the package that we have installed which is in this case 2.4.3 okay so normally you will not actually modify this file manually okay and if we return back to our terminal we can get actually a list of all the packages that we have installed using the command pip env lock minus r so here you can see the package that we have installed it actually gives us a list of the package that we have installed okay and if you want to uninstall a package it's also pretty easy pip env and as you guess it uninstall and the package name here we go so it's uninstalling the package name and if we return back to our pip file you will notice we don't have any more the package that we already and install so it's logical okay so let me clear the terminal and we have we are still in our virtual environment because we all we have also uh, the prompt with the folder directory that we are in so in when you are done with your uh, virtual environment and you want to return back to your normal prompt as you remember in the old method we use the command deactivate but with pip env it's pretty easy you just type exit in order to exit actually your virtual environment and here we go now you are returning back to your normal prompt so this ju was just a brief introduction how you can actually use a virtual environment with this new mod method using the pipenv command. So as always, I hope it has been informative for you. 
and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.